my name is Minyoung Kim, and today I am going to talk about um, fast object detection system that we had built in the past, and then uh, for, especially for the ADAS using deep learning. Um, so far, there has been a trade-off between like using deep learning algorithm onto the, such a small, uh, low-power device and and achieving high performance, especially in the speed of the system. So um, I'm going to explain, okay, why is it so hard to achieve high speed at the same time achieving uh, um, the high performance, and then <clears throat> and then later on, um, I will explain how we improved um, the such a difficulties. And, and then for the last, I'm going to explain more about more recent activities in PSVL um, that we are working on. So before that, let me introduce about our team briefly. Um, we are located in, in Cupertino, right next to the uh, new Apple headquarters. And then uh, we are about 20 people working not only in dim learning, but also in many other areas like design, control, robots, and drones, etc. So let's move on. Um, object detection system using dim learning. Um, these days, many people know that the dim learning based system has beaten state of the art records in many domains like computer vision and like in computer vision, image classification and detection, and then not only computer vision, but also in like natural language processing, etc. However, there comes um, um, a downside too. So, first of all, to achieve um, the highly accurate model training out of um, deep learning algorithm, you need large set of data. Meaning, um, you need a lot of data with the labels if you want to do the supervised learning. And then we know that it's kind of hard to um, gain the large amount of uh, labeled data. And also, deep neural networks um, tends to have millions of parameters to be trained, meaning you need, you need high computational power to to even run uh, the single for the propagation of the deep neural network. And since then, it's kind of tends to be slower in the running time than most of the conventional algorithms like SVM, and et cetera. 